In this video, we're going to take this handheld laser welder and cutter, and I'm going to make this adapter to hopefully turn it into a fiber laser water jet cutting machine. So in a past life, I worked in the aerospace industry, and I've seen and have heard of these water jet fiber lasers. And the whole idea with those is that the laser beam, once it's focused in, in a chamber, then it is introduced into the water jet, which is in a laminar flow. And the laminar flow of the water jet acts like a fiber, fiber optic cable. And that laser beam will travel down that fiber optic uh, jet of water. And basically then it, once it hits a material, it, it introduces its heat and, and the water it removes the material. So the neat thing with that is you can basically cut almost any thickness of material because you can do several passes. Um, and also it's not limited to basically the height of the laser beam. You can um, have a standoff distance and as long as that laser and that water beam is in a laminar flow, it's going to take off the material. So the whole idea with this is you're, you're, you're focusing the beam inside this chamber. And then once it exits this orifice, which is a water jet orifice, um, 0 0.009, then it will come in contact with the material. Well, my first hiccup in the whole situation was when I first introduced um, the actual laser or the water, um, the crystal I'm using was just a standalone crystal. Uh, and I didn't notice that at the time, but the cold water I was introducing to the chamber was fogging up the mirror. And as you can see in this first video, when I first, first put the laser to it, it broke that window because the laser was introducing heat to the window because of the condensation. So I had to change some setups and basically I introduced hot water into the system instead of cold water to reduce the condensation. That helped from, from that perspective, but I'm still getting a lot of heat into the window because it's melting seals off the crystal laser window. And also it's, it's putting a lot of heat in the chamber itself. So here's kind of a breakdown of how this works. I got these off Amazon. These are just this fitting right here basically was a sight glass for, these are called sanitary fittings. And so I got these off Amazon, I think plus the tube. I think I was in it for about, oh, $30. Um, this water jet nozzle, which is very small. Barely can see it, 0 0.009 of an inch diameter. Basically, I just put that in the lathe and uh, and super glued it in and actually worked pretty well. The sight glass, where the laser productive glass goes, the first window I used was what came with it and it's quartz. And I think it would actually work. It was quite thick, but uh, the condensation, like I talked about, or I mentioned earlier, that uh, the condensation is, uh, was fogging this up. And then the laser beam inter interacted with that condensation and and blew a hole through that uh, quartz window. So this was the whole idea is to basically provide a clear window for this to the laser beam to come in. This is the water chamber, and then this fits on there. And you know, I turned this upside down before with the water running to get the air out of the system. You know, I was able to get the red light to travel down, but as you can see, this, it, it, that was my last attempt and 
that was a silicon washer that was in perfectly good shape and it's melted that but it didn't melt the window so and of course this is the protective glass from the laser same protective glass i was using for you know that's already in the gun and that that was sitting in there and i had a o-ring to space that out this would go on top of it and then this go down to seal it. so that's how that setup works a lot of these fiber laser water jet cutters that you see online use a green laser but from my research it also can use this fiber optic laser wavelength so i don't think that's a problem um i, I think i'm getting good laminar flow because you can see the red dot laser when you when you're not using it this 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 laser cutter introduces a laser a red laser so you can aim um and you can see that the the red laser travels down the water beam quite a bit, bit of distance um the other problem is this water jet orifice is 0 0.009 in diameter inches um so to line up i can line up the laser or i have to line up the laser through the orf orifice through the computer that's on the fiber laser machine. And I can only move that at 0.1 millimeter increments, which is about 0 0.003 of an inch. So I literally, I can't really line it up exactly inside of this water jet orifice. But I've taken this orifice out and used a bigger one. And as you can see in the later of the video, the bigger orifice still has the laminar flow, but I don't think I'm introducing enough heat like it it just doesn't it doesn't even mark the material so i i'm at a kind of wits end of what to do next because like I'm melting, not really, you know, I've gotten to a point where I'm not busting through the protective lenses I've put into this, but it's creating enough heat that the silicon uh, seals that I'm using are melting. And then I'm, I'm getting water introduced into the, the part of the gun that I, I don't want it to be introduced. Um, I'm still running about 120 PSI of chilled air between the protective lens that's in the gun and this protective lens and there's an escape hole um, drilled into this stem so it should be cool in this lens and the other side of this lens also so it's interesting to me that it's 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 heating this up enough to melt it um, so and it might be a complete focus issue maybe I don't I don't have enough control of where that focus because all the diagrams I've seen online the focus has to hit right before the 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 orifice so the laser beam can travel down the, the the water jet. So I don't, you know, please comment, give me some just suggestions because I'm kind of at my wits end. I think it can work. I've seen it work in other machines. The principle's there, and I don't know if it's just I'm I'm trying to, you know, basically K rig it, and and I don't have enough control and focus. Or it, it might not just be possible from the wave leap perspective. This is a uh, 1,080 nanometer wavelength laser, fiber laser. And per AI on Google, it says it can work. So, if you have any ideas, let me know. Thanks.